Patients with neck pain, headache, or, or facial pain often visit a physical therapist and receive cervical spine manipulation, mobilization, or other interventions. Although rare, vascular serious adverse events can occur following an examination of the cervical spine, manipulation, mobilization, or exercise prescription. The most common serious adverse event in the cervical spine is craniocervical artery dissection. Neck pain, headache, or oral facial symptoms are often the first non ischemic symptoms of an underlying craniocervical artery dissection. Patients presenting with neck pain and headache will develop a vascular serious adverse event, such as dissection, during or after treatment may have an underlying pathology that was unrecognized and subsequently aggravated by treatment. Patients who seek care for neck pain or headache, the first non-ischemic symptoms of arterial dissection, are likely to visit a physical therapist. Therefore, it is important that all physical therapists feel confident to identify a potential vasculogenic contribution to the patient's complaints regardless of the planned intervention. The patient history and physical examination are important to establishing and testing hypotheses related to potential vasculogenic causes of signs and symptoms. In dissection-related events, 4 in every 5 people report headache and a similar number report neck pain. It is important to ask patients about ischemic signs of vertebral basilar artery dissection and internal carotid artery dissection. In the clinical reasoning process, the patient history and physical examination are important to establishing and testing hypotheses related to potential vasculogenic causes of signs and symptoms. The patient history and physical examination help clinicians decide whether a medical referral for further investigation is warranted. All physical therapists who help people with neck pain, headache or oral facial symptoms should be aware of a potential vasculogenic contribution to the patient's complaints and assess and refer the patient accordingly.